Hi everyone, today let's define internal energy. How much energy does a glass of water on the ground have? The glass is not moving, so it has no kinetical energy. The glass is not raised off the ground, so it has no potential energy, right? Does it look like this has no energy? No, we just have to look closer. The energy is found in the interaction and motion of the particles in the substance. There exists molecular potential energy by virtue of electromagnetic force acting among the atoms of individual molecules and between the separate molecules. Other than this potential energy, we can find kinetic energy which is distributed among translational motion, rotational motion, vibrational motion, electronic and nuclear motion of the particle. One system in the total energy we calculate our system in the whole potential energy, our system in the whole kinetic energy plus our system in the molecules in the motion mugeneo alengil molecules in the interaction mugeneo avadendagana or energy in the energy in the perani internal energy. This e moon energy is in the good sum the total energy of the system in the varina. A poor system in the little molecules in the total energy including their kinetic and potential energies. This is the name of internal energy. If we move a system, we will move a system with kinetic energy. If we move a system with molecules, that molecules continuous to move. That is why they possess molecular kinetic energy. If we move a system with ground, we will move a potential energy. If we move a molecules, Individual atoms are tamilum, other separate molecules are tamilum or electrostatic force of attraction under. Other mugene are molecules in a molecular potential energy under. So Namuka macroscopic level kinetic energy and potential energy is zero on since whole system is not moving and it is on ground. Pakshe molecular level in Okuna Samyeta we have both potential and kinetic energy. So we can define internal energy as the sum of all types of energies exhibited by the particles of a system is called the internal energy. Internal energy is an absolute value determined by the molecular levels in the energies in the exact value we calculate. the thermodynamic process we change in internal energy measure by determining the heat and work added to the system. So, for any process, the change in internal energy represented by delta U is given by U final minus U initial. Internal energy is a state function which means it depends only on the state of the system and not how it go there. Internal energy is an extensive property. It depends upon the chemical nature of the substance as well as its temperature. Because the internal energy is associated with the motion of the particle. So if we increase the temperature, the movement of the particles increases, thereby the internal energy increases. That means high temperature implies more internal energy, less temperature implies less internal energy. Internal energy increases due to heat transfer, friction and structural deformation like stretching a band etc. By discussing heat, work and internal energy, we are now ready to learn about the laws of thermodynamics that we will do in our next video.